Hey everybody, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to use my revolutionary new spam solver. Is it really revolutionary? Yes, it is. Here's why. Let's say you're preparing an email campaign, but when you test it to a few of your own addresses, you find that it ends up in the spam folder. What do you do? You start tweaking your email. Maybe you change the subject line slightly. Maybe you turn off open tracking. Maybe you send it through an entirely different server like SendGrid. You go through this trial and error process, tweaking your email each time until you can hopefully figure out how to get it to the inbox. My new spam solver does this automatically. Let's check it out and see how it works. Here right in my Gmail account, I've prepared a sample campaign. To fire up the spam solver, all I have to do is open the settings box and click the spam solver button. Let me adjust my screen. And we're off to the races. The spam solver is sending my email to 20 different Gmail and G Suite accounts. Let's wait for the results. Oh no, most of my emails went to the promotions folder. Well, let's change it up a bit and see what happens. I'm going to turn off tracking. Turning off tracking disables both open and click tracking. Let's run another test. So again, the spam solver is sending my email with tracking off to the same 20 addresses. Shoot, that didn't help much. I got the exact same results as the first time. Maybe it's my from domain that has a bad reputation. I'm gonna swap out the from domain with a different domain that has a neutral reputation. And again, the spam solver is sending my 20 emails, but this time with a different from address and different from domain. Hey, that's pretty good. All 20 of my emails went to the inbox. That's awesome. Well, now I know there's probably a reputation issue with my from domain. And that's how you use the spam solver to figure out how to get to the inbox.